It can't be too long on the line because we're going to be taking you guys for a ride up the hill shortly. But let's just have a quick walk and talk. So, uh, Monza SP2, SP2 because there's two seats. There is also a SP1 available. Super limited edition car. Uh, it's based on the 812 Super Fast. Only this is running, I think, 10 more horsepower. So this is 820 horsepower. Um, in terms of specialness, uh, right now <laughs> this is the only one in the world. But let's have a look at some of the details. For example, this little micro door. So, there we have a tiny little handle. Look at that, it's absolutely miniature. What, what is quite odd is that even though there is this sort of gesture of an aperture in order to get inside the car, um, the actual sill to get in is, is quite high. So despite the fact that it's open top, you would think it would be easy to get out of. In, not so bad, you can sort of step over this big sill. Out, you're still sort of quite like sat down low and you have to roll yourself over. Um, but in terms of a way to start the festival of speed, what a momentous machine. I've only ever seen one of these when the car launched, it was static on a stand. Never did I believe the first time I would experience one would be up the hill of Goodwood. So, come inside, we'll show you some more details. Now, I'm not actually allowed to drive this car um, because it's currently invaluable. So uh, only official Ferrari folk are allowed to drive it. Normally I would turn down not driving a car, but this, is too good not to share with you. So, join me as I sit myself inside and we shall show you what's what. The sill is high. That is it. So once you're in, you sit super low. Now this thing is paired back. There is actually a fairly decent boot. We've got two helmets in the boot and two bags. There's things down here, USB slot down there, and the door, I know it's really hard to convey weight on film, the door. I mean, I know it's small, but it's incredibly light, beautifully sculpted, and everything is carbon fiber. Look down here, look, look at this carbon weave here. Every panel on this is carbon fiber. It's absolutely stunning. So there are familiar design traits from Ferraris that we're aware of that conventionally go on the road, like these air vents, and there are some switch gear in there, which is familiar from an 812. But other than that, and the steering wheel, this thing is new through and through. The seating position is gorgeous. In fact, I think these are bespoke seats as well. They are. These are bespoke, fixed, carbon-backed bucket seats clad in stunning red leather. Look at this massive carbon strut here. So this runs throughout the whole driving bay. So you're very distinctly split between driver and passenger zone. But in terms of a place to sit, I mean, we have a gesture here of a windscreen. I think if you were to to do a road trip in one of these, dare I say, you'd probably need a full face helmet or lots of sunscreen. Maybe put some PPF on your face to stop the bugs hitting you right in the smile glands. And they would be active as well. I mean, I'm just stood here still smiling my face off at the mere prospect of going up there, which is pretty cool. Driver saying, roll it up. We're gonna roll up here and then we'll share with you a little bit more detail as we work our way up the line. This is what makes the Festival of Speed so special. Look what we're parked around. Convenient. W Motors veneer here. Here's our Ferrari drivers. Anyway, let's uh, step out and debrief. Well, this is quite unusual um, because I wasn't allowed to have any loose cameras in the car. 
Um, I'm now filming on my phone because I've had to leave the camera down with cameraman back at base. Uh, but I thought I'd get out the phone. To be honest, I started my channel using an iPhone and I've upgraded three or four times since then. So it's not the end of the world. Anyway, let's show you around. Look, this is the supercar paddock. It's absolutely incredible. The funny thing about this event is uh, you end up doing a lot of waiting around. So up here, look, everyone gets out of their cars, as you can see. And everyone has a chat and uh, admires all of the other cars around while we wait. We wait for, I don't know, probably half an hour up here before we drive back down again. The funny thing is, the run up the hill is probably minute, 30 seconds, if that. Super fast run. We give super fast. Let's go check out this Monza. So here it is. Look at the sculpture on this thing. So this is the first car that is forming part of Ferrari's new Icona series, which you're going to be seeing some incredibly special cars coming out of. So if you think things like, you know, LaFerrari La and uh, even F12 TDF were rare, these cars are taking it into a different bracket. As I mentioned, it's forming part of a series called the Icona series, and we're going to be seeing all sorts of special cars coming from Ferrari to celebrate cars of old and uh, entirely new platforms as well. But look at it. It makes way for stunning sculpture like this and uh, really unique and niche applications like two-seater, no-roof, open-top cars. You can even spec this as a single-seater, which would be called the SP1. But look inside. All of the switch gear has been moved down here. Personally, I would have thought they might have done that in carbon fiber. It does look a little bit plastic between me, you, and the 100,000 other people that might watch this. But anyway, a familiar 812 steering wheel. And the instrument cluster is still very similar, but it's the overall design of the car. I particularly love the rear view mirror that sits on this single carbon stalk in the middle of the car there. How special is that? And we also have these hand painted shields. The idea behind these is they're hand painted, first of all, because it's a nod to the artisan craft of the brand. But uh, the painted shield is actually 50% larger than the standard enamel badge, meaning it can sit much larger on the wing. These have really huge wings, look. Single piece wing is huge, look, it goes all the way over, forms the whole bonnet here. So to be able to paint on a shield allows you to have a really large prancing horse. And then coming around to the front, all of this is bespoke, new lighting, very cool. Okay, so we've just uh, left amongst this lot. Uh, to say we're in the wrong group would be an understatement. The track on that, we could fit underneath that car. It's absolutely colossal. But we're not gonna try. We're not gonna try. No Fast and Furious stuff today. You can hear it as well. I think that's uh, running straight through pipes. It's... Look at the travel on it. I love this. The yeah. rear view mirror is stunning. Look at that. It's a F1 work of art, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Absolutely stunning. Fabulous piece of shit. These boys can barely hear ourselves. Thank you. Keith, bear in mind we were on sticker tyres, well, it was fairly gentle, mate. 
<laughs> that was, um, as far as first runs of the Festival of Speed go, that is up there with the best of them. It's amazing. I mean, this whole paddock is full of very, very special cars. And I've never heard so many people go, what on earth is that thing? I mean, pictures are one thing. Seeing it in reality is a completely different ball game. It's just out of this world. But sculpturally as well, stunning, stunning thing. Um, much lighter than an 812, so it goes like hell. And uh, because you've got no roof, it sounds incredible as well. So, yeah, mega start to the Festival of Speed. So there we have it. One hell of a way to kick off the first day at the Goodwood Festival of Speed. Now then, um, I won't give away too much, but I've got a funny feeling I'm going to be spending a bit more time in a Monza SP2. Not in the immediate future, but something quite special is coming. More on that as that journey unfolds. But off the back of that, I would love your thoughts and comments below as to what else you would like to see from Monza content. Incredibly special car that... Uh, in the near future we're going to be spending some time with so let me know in the comments below as always guys thank you so much for watching i should see you next time ciao